I have time for just one more video before I go. Uh, and that is tipping. And I'm gonna say this, it has been so nice to be in a country where just sanity has been returned. America is probably one of the worst countries in the world for this whole tipping issue. And I don't fault any worker in the world that lives in or has to serve in an industry where they're subject to all this kind of pressure and problems and aggravation and unfairness. But I also think we also need to, we have to fix the problem. So it is just nice. You can order a drink, you pay what's there. Um, they don't try to give you a little thing saying, hey, how much tipping do you want to add? And I think one of the reasons is, I mean, they know Americans will come and probably give them money, extra money anyway, because we're used to it, we're conditioned. But there's so many other countries here, they're not, they don't have that um, thing worked into their system. So it's sort of like, yeah, it doesn't work both ways. Um, but it has been nice and it really redefines what I think. I think um, I don't want to keep being part of the problem. I don't want to be cheap and I don't want to... I don't want to like hurt people that need it, but I also think, uh, I don't know, it's like I'd rather, if I'm gonna donate money or give away free money, I'd rather do it to people like really in need, like a homeless or just people that are suffering and not supplement companies that want to try to, you know, I don't know, game the system by paying their employees, uh, underpaying their employees and saying, oh, you guys, you consumers, you make up the difference because at the end of the day, what happens if it's a slow day, they get paid less and you know they suffer. So I think the only way the system's ever gonna be fixed is if, uh, I hate to say it, but if we just don't play along and workers basically say, I'm not gonna work for you Starbucks because you don't pay me enough. And Starbucks is eventually gonna say, well, because Starbucks now is saying, well, yeah, but you get tips. And they say, well, that's not good enough because people aren't tipping enough. And they say, fine, we'll pay you more money. But if people are tipping, then they'll say, yeah, we can keep doing this. So anyway, um, it has been an interesting experience here. And yeah, it's just the way things uh, should be. Um, I've kind of vacillated on my feelings of that once in a while, but I, I gotta stick to what I just think is the best solution. So um, obviously if I get a haircut, you're getting a tip. Um, if I did a cab ride, I never do cab rides, but I would give a tip because I would just be in a very awkward position. Uber, it just depends. Um, and then even in a hotel, uh, I think there were problems. I mean, first of all, you don't really have to tip in a hotel, at least here. Um, but it wasn't bad service, but it was random. Um, and there were problems, things like, you know, the dishes not being restocked and yeah, I don't know. I'm still, I got like one minute to figure that out, but I think, I hope the world, or at least America, starts to really reconsider, you know, what's workable or... We got a horn going off. Um, anyway, and I don't want to want to deprive people of, you know, having a good living just because I've been kind of fortunate and I've also worked hard and a um, little bit of both, maybe. But, uh, all right, well, that's my two cents. And, ah, tipping, two cents. That eh, doesn't really work. Okay, cheers.